Good evening. How far would you go to save your own life? Or the life of someone you love? Most of the time, the answer is as simple as putting one's faith in law enforcement. But when even this resource becomes unavailable, the tables turn and the hunters may find themselves the hunted. Tonight we'll see a shining example of this deadly role reversal in a tale we call The Black Testament of Solange. The testament itself will be read at high noon, but its contents will inspire the first of several tragedies at the midnight hour. Solange. I saw the door standing open, but with the lights off, I wasn't sure anybody was home. Daniel, you scare me to death. What do you want? Sherry. Sherry? My dog. I was taking her for a walk, and she got away from me. And I saw your door standing open. I thought maybe she came in here. Uh, I don't think so. You mind if I come in and take a look? Not now. It's late. I'm tired. Besides, Tony isn't here. I know. I saw him leave a few hours ago in a hurry. He got called out on a case, but he'll be back soon. Tony's been spending a lot of time at work lately. He must be lonely. Sometimes, but not tonight. Wait, are you sure you want me to leave? Yes, I'm sure. Good night, Daniel. Oh, and if you find Sherry in here, just give me a call. I'll come get her. I will. Tony? Are you Tony Paquette? Yes. I'm Valerie Brenner, Solange's daughter. Oh, yeah. I can see the resemblance. You know, I've heard so much about you from Solange, I feel like I know you already. But it is a pleasure to finally meet you. Same here. So, you're my stepfather. And you're my stepdaughter. Look, I am really sorry we had to meet like this. Your mother was a wonderful woman. I'm afraid the services for your mother are over. We were just leaving. I know. There was a mix-up at the airport and I had to take another flight. I'm sorry. Do you want me to take you to your mother's plot so you can pay your respects? Maybe later. 
It's kind of hard. I... Hey, you know what? No worries. I'll bring you back when you're ready. By the way, this is my neighbor, Daniel Duran. He was your wife's attorney and the executor of the will. This is his son, Cole, just back from school. Hi. Terribly sorry about your mom. Thanks. Do you go to state? No, I go to Brown. Or I did up to a couple weeks ago. I just graduated. And he's already got his first job offer. Yeah, in Australia. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. I have till the end of the week to decide. Valerie, did you rent a car? Yeah, this one here. Oh, perfect. Do you mind taking Cole home? Daniel and I need to go downtown to make a pit stop. Sure, I'd love to. Thanks, and we'll talk later. So, you drive a stick? Sure. You're driving. Okay. So, tell me about this job offer in Australia. It's uh, for an IT company. Um, it's got a great starting salary and awesome benefits, but my dad's scared to death I'm going to take it. Why? I don't know. I mean, my mom passed away like a year ago, and he's all alone. Or he will be if I take it. Oh. Um, hey, I wish I had a job offer like that. I mean, I just graduated too, and the job market's horrible right now. I can't believe Solange has a college grad daughter. She looks so young. She was young. She had me when she was 13. 13? Jesus. Grandparents took care of me the first couple years, um, so no one would know about it, but then they died and Solange sent me off to boarding school. Ah, that's rough. Must miss her a lot. Not really. I mean, I only met her like five or six times, maybe. So we hardly really knew each other. So what are you gonna do now? Stay with Tony, I guess. At least until the reading of my mother's will. Damn it. I forgot to ask Tony for a key to the house. Ah, uh, you don't need it. Tony never locks the front door. How do you know that? Everybody knows that. Maybe if he did, my mother would still be alive. What does that mean? Doesn't it seem like strange to you? that a wealthy woman like Solange suddenly dies right after marrying some guy her family's never even met. Valerie, Tony isn't just some guy. He's the chief of police for Dalwin Bay. Besides, they investigated and it's definitely an accident. I hope so. <laughs> you hope so? Well, that settles it. We're gonna start dating so that you have something positive to look forward to. <laughs> what do you like to do anyway? Well, I like to tan. Alone? Mm, not if I can help it. I mean, it's nice to have someone there to put lotion on me. <laughs> well, perfect. You got a brand new backyard, and I'm right next door in case you need any help. Sounds good. Fair, I'll be there. Hey, neighbor. Hey. I wasn't expecting you. Cool. Surprised to see you here. 
Hey, I said we were gonna start dating. <laughs> Living next door makes it quite convenient. It sure does. <laughs> well, just in time. Need someone to do my back. Oh, yeah? Hey, gotta stick to my word, right? <laughs> now don't be afraid to get up in there, you know? <laughs> That's good. It's very good. Mm -hmm. I know you love it. <laughs> you can take that bra strap off too. Oh man. <laughs> cool. You love it and you <laughs> know it. <laughs> hey, 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 you alright? Uh, hey, what's the matter? I feel dizzy. There's a burning Here. sensation in my throat. Drink some water. That's Got a minute, son? Yeah, sure, Dad. What's up? Well, have you made any decisions about Australia yet? Yeah, I have. And I think I'm gonna stay. Oh, that's fantastic, Cole. You on the fence for so long. What made you decide? A girl. Valerie, actually. Valerie, yeah. You woke me up when you came in last night. It was uh, well after three in the morning. Yeah, Valerie and I uh, uh, just hung out in the backyard and talked. I guess it uh, runs in the family. What do you mean by that? Well, don't spread it around, but Solange and I had a thing going before she met Tony. You and Solange? Well, your mom was gone. You were away at school. Solange was lonely too, even after she married Tony. I mean, it wasn't anything serious, but it did make life interesting. Wow. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Huh. It's pretty amazing. Does Tony know? No, he doesn't. And you're not gonna tell him or anyone else, understand? Yeah, yeah, no worries. Hey, uh... Valerie thinks that Solange's death wasn't an accident. Maybe Tony knows more than you think. Huh. If he knew, I'd be the one in that cemetery right now. Besides, we were very careful and she had cooled it off a bit these past few weeks. Really? Must be really awkward living right next door to her. Yeah, not really. Yeah, you know, I hardly ever bumped into her. As a matter of fact, when she died, I hadn't seen her for days. Uh, it's Valerie. Wonder what she wants. Take a look at this. It's just residue at the bottom of a glass. Smell it. it smells like gross almonds. Cyanide smells like almonds. Well, someone tried to kill me last night. Someone? Who? What do you think? My mother owns millions in real estate and investment. Then last year, she marries some guy she barely knows and a few months later dies in an accident. So you think Tony Piquet killed your mom and is trying to kill you, but why? Because I'm the only living heir of Solange. Her estate goes to me. Unless you die. Yeah, and it goes to Tony Piquet. This is insane. Tony is the chief of police. For Christ's sakes, what the- Exactly. Which puts him in the perfect position to sabotage the investigation and make all these things look like accidents. Well, we have to tell somebody. Who? 
His buddy's at the police station. Yeah, look at Ellison. Why don't you just get out of state? Can't. Leave for a while. I have to stay here. And what are we supposed to do? Oh, no. He tried to kill me once and he failed. Just a matter of time before he tries again. Unless we stop him. Valerie, no. We you can't do that. have to fight fire with fire, Cole. Don't even kill my mother. He's gonna kill me too. You really want that? No. No. Then help me. Maybe we can do something. But it would have to look like an accident. Valerie! Hey, Valerie! Oh, there you go, Valerie. Do you mind if I borrow your car? Hey, Cole, I didn't know you were here. Hey, Tony. Yeah, uh, keys are on the table by the door. Thanks. Mine's in the shop getting a fuel pump replaced. But I gotta get to work, and it should be done this afternoon. No problem. Thanks. And Cole, I'll see you around. See you, Tony. Good luck with your car. I didn't know how to stage an accident until Tony said his car was in the garage with fuel pump problems. Suddenly I realized how to fix it. The dealership mechanics would have removed the gas tank and disconnected the fuel line. The fuel line's right next to the muffler in Tony's car. By loosening the connection a little bit, I was able to create a small gas leak that would squirt on the hot muffler whenever Tony accelerated and the fuel pressure went up. But it didn't work. You just drove away, Cole. Nothing happened. It's because the muffler's not hot enough to detonate yet. The longer he drives, the hotter the muffler gets. Until... The car will blow up. Yeah, like a giant Roman candle. And everyone will think the mechanic who worked on it yesterday just made an honest mistake. What the fuck is that smell? It sounds like... It smells like gas. It smells like raw gas. Ah, my car. Fuck, man. God damn it. All right. Son of a bitch. Fucking mechanics. Shit. They didn't even bother to tighten up the fuel lines. Ah, damn mechanics. Fourth grader could do a better job. And I smell like gas. I killed him. Killed the chief of police. 
No, you saved my life. Tony was a murderer. It's been about 15 minutes. Maybe he's still alive. Don't think about it. I have to think about it. Maybe I can call him. Maybe I can stop in and tell him that I smell gas by his car. I just forgot to tell him. Don't. Okay, look, everything's gonna be okay, all right? You didn't do anything wrong. Plus, you said so yourself. No one can trace the explosion back to you anyway. So what? So you're safe. We're safe. I just want to say again how sorry I am about what happened. First your mother, Solange, and now your stepfather. I can only imagine how difficult this is for you. Thanks, Daniel. It's really hard. I can't imagine doing it alone. You're not alone. Cole and I are here for you. And we'll do whatever we can to help. As you know, when your mother filed her last will and testament with my office, she also made me executor of her estate. I can leave you guys alone for this if you want. It's okay. You can say. If it's okay with you. Okay. I'm not going to read the whole thing aloud like they do in the movies. I'm going to tell you the important things and give you a copy of the testament to keep. That's fine. When she married Tony Paquette last year, Solange changed her will and left everything, real estate holdings, stocks, bank accounts, to her new husband, Tony Paquette. What? It's okay. She left everything oh. to Tony? Relax. Dad, are you fucking kidding me? However, she did specify that if she and Tony both died before having any children, that her entire estate would revert back to her daughter, Valerie Brenner. Well, that's it in a nutshell. You're a very rich young lady, Valerie. Thanks, Daniel. See? It all worked out. Sure did. Sure as fuck did. Cole? Cole! Cole! Wait up! Cole! What are you gonna do? How long did you know Solange left everything to Tony and not you? I didn't know. Yes, you did. I could tell by the look on your face and the way you said everything worked out after all. I'm serious, I had no idea. Stop lying. All right, fine. Yes. I knew Solange cut me off. She called me after she married Tony and I freaked out and she hung up on me. She hung up on me. So you killed her? You killed your own mother? Shh. Hey. I came here after school at Al and stayed at a motel. Watched the house and waited for Tony to leave her alone. Pushed her down the stairs. And you put the cyanide tablet in your own drink. This whole thing, it all was an act. I had to make you believe that Tony was killing Solange and was trying to kill me too. It was the only way. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No way I could have made Tony's death look like an accident. He needed somebody else. That's where I came into play. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you for fucking up my life. Oh, please don't tell anyone. Okay, wait up. Cole. Cole. Wait up. Cole, wait. Where are you going? Australia. I'm taking the job. Tell my dad to send all my stuff to the Delwyn Bay Motel. Done with this place. No. Wait. Wait! Cole!
Valerie. Daniel, forgot you were here. You know, the most important thing in this world is family. Actually, I don't know that. I don't have a family. No, I guess you don't, do you? But I do. Just a little family. My son. Look, Daniel, I'm tired. I was listening just now, and I couldn't believe what I was hearing. But it explains so much. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't care about your unfortunate childhood, or your greed, or the fact that you killed your own mother. Look, I don't know what you think you heard, but you heard wrong. What you did to my son is unforgivable. You ruined his life. Now he's going away because of you, and he may never come back. No, he took that job in Australia all on his own. He could have been rich. It's his loss. No, Valerie, it's yours. <laughs> Solange gave up her role as a mother so that she could enjoy a simpler life. How ironic that this decision would one day bring about the end of her life.